This is uh, how I go about drilling holes in these plates. Now first what I do is I make sure that everything's lined up and I get it tightened down. Sometimes the second one doesn't want to start very easy, but that's all right. Now uh, the blade or the bit I'm using is a uh, cobalt bit, three eighths of an inch. They're not very cheap. I paid 14 bucks for mine, but it's way better than buying the titanium washed ones because as soon as they get a little bit dull, you have to throw them out. They can't be sharpened. The cobalt bits can be sharpened. The other thing you may notice I'm doing two at once, it uh, reduces the flexing that the plate experiences in the vise. And the other thing I did, I cut a block of wood to fit underneath the plate and then drilled holes in it where the where the holes already are in the plates, that makes it lay flat. This is another thing I want to warn about. See this uh, shard here on the bit? Don't ever try to pull them out. Because nine times out of ten you'll be just fine picking at it and then one day it'll catch and pull your finger right in. So leave them alone, turn off the equipment and then remove it. Another thing I want to mention while I'm doing this, always keep your hands out of the work. When I was off camera, I had this pop one on another set of two pop loose and it starts spinning around like a pin. And lastly, when you're cutting with uh, stainless steel, particularly if you're over a quarter of an inch in diameter. You should run your uh, drill press at the slowest speed setting that you can afford. This one's running at 480, which is still a little too fast. That's why you see it smoking on so I really should be running it at about 150 to 200. You could do this with a drill and a bench vise. It's just harder and it doesn't come out quite as clean. So if you can afford to, to find a used drill press somewhere, I would do that. These uh, 12 inch with half inch chuck models, they're running about 190 new, but you should be able to find them for under $100 used if you look around. Now that the drilling's done, just want to take a real quick look here and see if everything's lined up. And that ain't too bad. But there's one more thing to do, and that is I need now to take a round finishing file and knock off all these burrs on the back side of these plates. Now there might be some on the front side too, but they, like right here but they're usually on the back side. So I just take the file and file all that off. Believe it or not, the finished work takes longer than the rough work. And when I'm done, I should have a bunch of plates that I can start using. <laughs> 